Alright, welcome back everyone to some more The Walking Dead. Just gonna rewatch this. Oh man, Clementine, that was so awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta's been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all places. And then this one time, Derek and Stupid Guy showed up to the Glock Bar, but Derek had the underwater mega lens. You have to pay attention, Derek. You need to just look at it. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Oh, well, how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like I have much to begin with. Hey, Glenn. In all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. Not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Ah! Find your friend. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah. I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Shit happens. I like that the bumper sticker. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. You never. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showed up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Thanks Kenny. Kenny. You got it. Oh my god, Cat, you asked him this like 30 times. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I didn't. Ah. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. Clementine's like, shut the fuck up, dog. Oh man, check this out. 
The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's Fuck you, Larry, like you fucking pow, pow, piece of shit. That super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I remember when I packed them up. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Did you check the glove box? I swear I Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. Yeah. I know it Can doesn't make any over. sense, Everything but it's how I used to talk to my mom and, and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. Like we have much to I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Fuck you, Larry. You Let me go deal with fucking this. piece of shit. Oh man. Come I can't wait to smash thing. your fucking head in, you fuck. What do you want? You like my daughter? Ah. Uh, She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once. And so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Fuck you, Larry. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. And there goes the light. Ah, there's the first one. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry you as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! honest me and 52 percent of the players choose duck so it really is about half and half all right god god damn it why Why? Okay, maybe 
menu. Yes. Season select. Is this... Huh? This can't be right, can it? Ah, oh, start for... Okay, there we go. Oh no, OBS is failing again. OBS, fix your shit. Oh. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got another try. good one for you. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Doug, you're dead. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Adapts to the choices you make. Months later, damn, what'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh... Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Uh... Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Cause he's a fucking piece of shit, that's why. Fuck Larry. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? 
Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. You fucking miss! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that what guys why the fuck is there a bear trap out here it's okay we're not gonna hurt you don't listen to them ben please just let us go we're not a threat to you kid chill out we'll try to help you but you gotta shut the fuck up please fucked up We've gotta help you. please ben shut up my dad was special forces i know what i'm doing just see if you can get him out after that you can leave us or whatever i don't care please Gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, oh. oh. this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. What the fuck? Oh no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. There's so much blood. Please, get me out of here. Please, do something. Oh, God. Please, save him. Don't oh, press the leg. Oh, man. Try to get Hurry. the G. Uh -huh. This is bad. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, please. Let's go. Just Let's leave go. Him. No, no, no! It has to be now! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Ah. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg! Ah. I'm sorry, but we have to go! Now! Ah. Oh god, how is he still not out? Lee, I can't keep him back forever! Ah. Ah! Oh God! Shit! Is he? He passed out. Um, if he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move.
Kept the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? Fuck you, Larry. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. Hey, fuck My girl's got you. more balls than all fuck of you, you combined. You fucking Dad, piece of please. shit. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Four food items. Or ten people. Fuck you, Larry. You're not getting shit from me. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Okay, hey, I don't Duck. know why. How about a little food? Ah, uh, here. I'm an apple. Oh, heck yes! Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Ah, uh, jerky or crackers and cheese. Crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Can I? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. 
You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. It's a good idea. Why are you holding some uh, sewer pipe there, Kenny? I got two more, two more, two more. Fuck that kid. Uh, fuck it, Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. Okay. Cat. Ah, fuck it. Let's go give it to Cat. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Okay. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Uh, it's what you're I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay, well, I tried, so maybe Kenny wants it. Oh, fuck. We are over time, boys. I'll... I gotta rush this. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. God, Larry, you are just a piece of shit. Here you go, Mark. Here, eat something. Ah, get you some jerky. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Fuck hey, you, Larry. I'm the one doing all the work over here. Fuck you. You didn't think to give me the axe? Fuck no. Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. <laughs> oh. And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Goddamn right. There, yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look. I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. One piece of food left. Ah, let's get oh, to some else. of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I ain't giving it to Larry. Fuck that noise. Kenny. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Further than his notice, I fed Kenny. Yeah.
Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Well, they You're never are. You're out! What happened to my food? Fuck you, Larry. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Good. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Didn't see your ass out on the field either, Larry. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Uh... Oh, shit! Hey! So much A! X! Oh, he fell down again. Hey! Shoot it! Thank you. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well... We'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Uh... You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Everyone should go. Why should everyone Sounds go? Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Oh, fuck, I keep forgetting about time. Well, it... Uh, fuck me. 
So, ah, shut up. Till the next time, guys. Bye.